good morning welcome back to a new studio vlog the sun's just come through as i started filming what a lovely start to the day i'm in the middle of kit packing and i'm still waiting for an item for the kit um it hasn't been an easy kit packing session this month it's been a hard one i think because i've had the christmas kits to do as well um loads and loads and loads and loads of add-ons which is amazing and I'm so grateful, don't get me wrong, but it takes so much longer to do. So I'm still doing add-ons. I really want to get the kits out today. I'm still missing an item, so we just have to see. But I'm going to put my positive head on. I've got a lovely wax melt going. I've got my coffee. I'm going to whiz the hoover around and put the dust around so at least the place feels clean and tidy. Um, I always find that helps if the place feels clean and tidy and I think we're, we're due to have ramen tonight but I don't know if I fancy it. I need something locale as I've gained a bit of weight lately and I don't want to feel really tight in my clothes before Christmas. So um, well, yeah we'll just see how today goes. But some good news, I need to do some admin and my favourite YouTuber has a new video up. Her food always looks so good. Maybe I will do noodles tonight. My day just got so much better. I have been panicking like mad. You haven't actually seen these. I haven't posted a picture anywhere because I was worried they wouldn't come in time. I've had these little tags made to go in the Christmas kits and I love them so much. These are gonna pay, play a really big part in my December journaling this year. Aren't they cute? I am so relieved. I can get my Christmas kits out now today, as I'd hoped. I've been worrying about that so much and they were sent tracked and poor Emily sent them on time and they just disappeared and there was no tracking online and they finally come today. So I can finish the packing. I'm, I'm just um, getting the new kit ready. It's actually the subscription changes over and I still haven't done it. Um, so I'm just doing that right now. Um, and then I can go back to kit packing in the lounge. I'm gonna give you a little sneak of the new December kit actually. I'm really, really pleased with it and I'll tell you the story behind it too. All right, sorry, I'm still battling with the sun coming through. I keep, I always keep my kits when I'm working on them on my printer by my desk so I can see and I can add bits as I come. It's a colourful one. This is December so it won't arrive until mid-December so it's ready for the new year so it's bright, happy, oozing positivity, lots and lots of fun stuff. Um, I've got these journal cards as well which I love. We've got a fun collaboration with Daisy. We've got stickers, loads of stickers actually. Did I tell you that we're gonna have these word strip stickers in every single kit from now on? There's a mystery gift this month. Lots and lots and lots going on. And the idea behind this kit is, it's called um, Wish Upon a Star. We are going to be talking 2021 wishes, um, goals. We're really going to be focusing on the positive and documenting everything that we'd like to do for 2021 whether that be wishes or goals but it's all about the positive that's what we're going to be focusing on i'm really excited there's loads i want to do with this and we're also going to be talking word of the year and lots and lots of bits and pieces i'm excited it's a fun one ready for the new year really bright really happy and i've got another collaboration as well taking place which i think you are going to love I'm very excited about that kit. Did you see my video, by the way? I posted this one up um, this week. It just went up last night as I filmed. I've started a new journal, so I'll link that video up below for you. I'm using some bits from this month's kit, actually, the November kit. But I'm gonna just transfer my subscription over. It needs to go to this kit now because that is the next box to go out. And then I need to get these November kits finished and sent. I'm feeling a lot happier now. <laughs> I can show you as well. We've also got these stamps for the December kit. Aren't they cool? I love Emily's stamps. Emily from Skull and Crossbuns. Super, super cute. Yeah, I've just done all my up updates. We've got the new kit and I've changed all the others. We've got this Christmas shopping section. I've got gift subscriptions there. 
and that's all done and I've changed the buy subscribe page as well just all takes a little bit of time but it's all done now and now back to kit packing something I do when I've got a really lengthy job in front of me I remind myself how much I love my job and how lucky I am I do quite a lot of positive kind of like talking to myself um, it is tiring I do work long hours but I remind myself that this is what I've wanted to do for years um, craft full-time and that's what I do and just sometimes I have to do jobs that are maybe not as fun as others like filming a fun craft video I love doing those and kit packing takes a very long time it hurts but I do love doing it and I have to remind myself how lucky I am and that I don't have to go out in this horrible weather I can just stay home and stick a movie on how many other people get paid to do their job and watch movies at the same time so I do have to do a lot of positive talking to myself to keep myself happy. I do need to go and put the hoof around. I'm going to open a can of Pepsi because that's also going to make me happy. And I'm going to light a really lovely candle in the lounge and just make it really cosy and do what I can do. I can only do my best. I will get as many kits out today as I can. I need to add the stamps now to the Christmas kits. Um, and I'm just going to do my best. That's all I can do. Day. it's nearly five and Aid's just taken Louis to work uh, Louis's working a late one tonight till quarter to no till 11 o'clock tonight it was quarter to 12 last night I haven't got everything out today I've done my best and that's it I don't think I've ever had this volume of orders and kits to pack and get out all on the supposedly the same day I think I completely overestimated how much time I needed and there's been other things that had happened I had, um, I had four days of headaches last week one of one afternoon was a migraine and sent me to bed um, so I dealt with that and so I worked at a slower pace and there's just been lots of things and I've just I've just worked to my best ability and I've just done what I can I've got all the international kits out today the Christmas kits and the majority of the UK kits I've still got a lot to do but I got eight big mail sacks out today, so that's a good thing. And to be honest, with the post at the moment, I could send something out today, something out in two days, and the one in two days still reach you before the one today. It's just all over the place today, like those stamps reaching me today. They were sent first class tracked on Friday, and it's taken, what's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's taken five days to reach me and in theory, they should have arrived Saturday morning. So I don't know, post is just all over the place at the moment, but I've done my best and that's fine. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because I'm working really, really hard. And I just wanted to say the same with you, to you, whatever you're going through at the moment, whatever you're doing, whether it, it be work, home, you can only do your best. I know we all beat ourselves up and say, oh, we should have done this. When I was thinking earlier on, I was thinking, oh, well, the other night, just before lockdown, we went to AIDS parents about half past eight in the evening. It was the night before lockdown. I haven't actually had a cup of tea with them since before lockdown. So probably maybe February time. Isn't that bad? They live six minutes walk away and I haven't given up any of my time because I'm always, always working. And then I was thinking, oh, I shouldn't have gone over there for a couple of hours. I could have maybe been better organized and maybe done something else for the kits. And then I thought, no, sometimes you have to give up some of your time and do something else and you have to make other priorities and that's fine and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. But I'm working really hard now. I'm just getting organized. I'm getting everything tidy, ready to get back into kit packing. I've got loads and loads of add-on orders this month. You can buy extra pieces to go into the kits and then I have to pack those up as well and match the orders up so that everything goes. And that's taken up a lot of time this month as well. And I think for 
December I'm not going to have many add-ons. It does take up a lot of time and I really, really want to send my December kits early. Um, I want you to have the chance to get them early before Christmas and I also want some family time as well, um, Christmas time. So I think I'm going to try and send them out early so I won't have as many add-ons next month. But I just wanted to say be kind to yourself and don't beat yourself up about things and you can only do your best. We're going to have potato wedges I think tonight, that's what we fancy. Aid made really nice bread rolls at lunchtime. He took a break from work about two o'clock. We both sat and had a bread roll and he's been helping label up my boxes today which was really really helpful but i think i'm just going to throw some potato wedges in the oven and then we're going to smother them with cheese and sweet chili sauce that's like our cozy cozy food we love that that's what we're going to do tonight have some cozy food oh and we're watching celebrity get me out of here as well are you watching that at the moment we are loving it who is your favorite if you're watching it aid is a big jordan north fan aid loves radio one we've always listened to radio one i'm not so fussed these days i don't like the music i like the djs but i don't like the music um but he still really really loves it and he's a big jordan north fan and jordan north does seem really really cute but let me know who your favourite is. Oh, and I, I'm also a big Giovanna Fletcher fan as well. I follow her on Instagram and I think she's lovely. Another 10 kits have been packed. Yay, I'm watching Counting On at the moment on TLC. It's one of my favourite shows to watch. I love it and it's hoovering upstairs. We are having... Our bedroom done i am so pleased i've been needing my bedroom done for years and years and years and years we ordered carpet just before um lockdown happened again and it seems that they're actually coming out to fit it next week still which has really really surprised me we expected it to be cancelled but there's nothing on the website and it seems that everything is going on as normal so we're needing to empty our bedroom get skirting boards fitted and get things ready for the carpet fitter next week which we were expecting to be delayed until december so aid's been emptying the bedroom today he's hoovering up there now we need one floorboard to be fitted properly before he can come because we need to be ready for next week but we're very very excited we're going to order new bedding i want some curtains put up we, we only have blinds at the moment i'm excited i'm really really looking forward to having a new bedroom and Aid bought me wine. I'm running really late with dinner. We said uh, we'd have dinner at seven. It's 10 to seven. I've forgotten to get the potatoes in. I've been so wrapped up with kit packing. Got another 10 kits done. I've just sliced up a load of potatoes. We're gonna have potato wedges. I've got this oil, rapeseed oil that we like. And we love this chip seasoning. I'm gonna smother it in the potatoes, salt and pepper, and bake on high. So they're lovely and crispy. What is it about spending time online? The time just flies away. I set my alarm for the cooker for 30 minutes. I ran in, somebody had a problem with their invoice. I ran in, resent the invoice. I just had a quick chat with the girls in my chat group and in the uh, Patreon group. And then before I know it, the alarm's going off. It's the potatoes are done, 30 minutes. I don't know where that time went. I need to grate some cheese and get these potatoes down. So these were in on 200 for 30 minutes and then I just turned it down to 160 whilst I finished off what I was doing and grating the cheese and all that and they smell really, really good. There we go and I've added a big blob of fat-free natural yogurt. I know it's not the healthiest but it's quick, it's yummy, it's cheap and we very, very rarely get takeout. I don't really cook processed food or ready meals or anything like that so this is the equivalent to us just realized that wines made me really rosy morning i'm having a nightmare i filmed a really cool video and it won't upload i don't know what i'm doing wrong um this video here it will have gone up hopefully by now if it's uploaded and i've made a little christmas wish it's so cute i thought it would be a really lovely idea there's a wish for each of the kids and one for us as a couple as well. And I popped a little photo there in the middle and that goes in the secret little Christmas pouch and it can be hung on the tree. 
and I've also just ordered a Christmas tree, a fake one for our bedroom. The bedroom is being done, as I said, and I'm so excited and I'd like a Christmas tree in my bedroom for the first time ever. So I've just ordered one. I need to get back to kit packing and pack up the last lot of kits. Please forgive me, Aid's sorting out some lights upstairs. So we have no lights in the house at the moment, except for the twinkly lights, so it's a little bit dark. I'm taking a break to make some lunch really quickly. And I thought I would just show you as I've been asked by our lovely American followers what bubble and squeak is when well, I've mentioned bubble and squeak recently and that's exactly what I'm having for lunch today so I'm going to share it with you now I know that all of our UK friends will know exactly what it is um all oh, the lighting looks better there um I've got a big load of leftover veg from dinner the other day I will chop that up a bit smaller and I've also got some mashed potato left I've drizzled over some oil and I'm going to let this all fry up it's already cooked and that's exactly what bubble and squeak is it's fried veg and mashed potato i don't add loads of oil as i don't want it to become unhealthy but just enough so it stops it from sticking and you want it to cook down so it's in bite-sized pieces and starts to go a little bit kind of like char grilled just kind of like black so last night's video didn't happen I was so happy with that project I made and it just kept coming up as failed. It just would not upload, uh, I think it's called Compress or something, I don't know, anyway from iMovie, just no matter what we did all day. Um, and so my video didn't go up last night. So Aid's done something today, I don't know what he's done, he's changed something, uploaded it differently and it's slowly uploading to YouTube. The file is about six times the size of a normal file, so it's going to take forever. But fingers crossed I'll have a video tonight. This month's kit packing has been the worst ever. It's just been horrendous. Hasn't been horrendous, that's an exaggeration, it's just been long. And I finally got everything finished last night, so some of the kits are going out a day late which is such a pain but I've just done the best I can and I just the pure volume of orders this month the pure volume of orders to go with kits this month it's just been the largest amount I've ever had to pack and I'm very very grateful don't get me wrong but it's been really hard going but I think everything's pretty much done now and I have a very, very messy house to contend with today, but I'm trying to prioritise. I've just had a cup of coffee and a piece of toast sat in my studio with Aid, which I never do. I never have breakfast usually, but that was quite nice. And I'm just taking everything step by step. Um, I'm just tidying things through, bringing them through from the lounge into here to tidy away. And I'm just going to, despite it being a mess everywhere, I'm just going to tidy up methodically and just do one thing at a time. And as we're doing our room as well, we're now camping in our bedroom and we're sleeping on a mattress on the floor until next week. Skirting boards are going to be fitted this weekend. We need to order some paint online and get that done so we can paint the room before the carpet comes as well. Just, you know, when you just think, why, why am I doing this? It'd be nice when it's done. And to add to that, the dishwasher stopped working. The washing machine smells of egg and the dishwasher's not heating. So even like the little tablets aren't melting, disintegrating, whatever you call it, dissolving. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. I have shoved everything from the kitchen top inside the dishwasher, however, because I'm not wanting to sort the kitchen out right now. I want it to look tidy. So I'm going with the hiding. Um, method instead anyone else like a little bit of hiding if you can't ha don't have time for tidying hiding is the way to do it the lounge is now clear of all kit packing stuff which i am so happy about and i'm going to dust and hoover because that will take me five minutes it won't take me too long and that's a room that's cleared i cleaned out the hallway i had all empty i had deliveries in there boxes that's all been put away I do have a cherries order that came last week which I still haven't unpacked and I'm really excited I've ordered some bits see that awful cupboard there I want to do that I wonder if I'll have time to do that this weekend um, I want to get it tidied up I've bought some pink baskets so they will look quite cute and I wanted to paint it white so I don't know 
Am I just adding too much to my list all the time? I'm excited to do it though, so I want to find the time to do it. But I'm slowly getting there with my jobs. I've got a Boardwalk Bakery, a Disney Wax Melt burning, and that smells amazing. I'm slowly getting there with my jobs, just breaking them down and doing one little bit at a time. Oh, and the washing machine's on, can you hear that? Oh, and I wanted to get some chicken in the crock pot. I was thinking when I was sat having my toast with Aid, I just want something nice and easy. Last night I failed with dinner big time. It was going to be jacket potatoes. Neither of us fancied it because we'd had the potato wedges the day before. And I pestered Louis to make dinner. It doesn't hurt him, he's 18. So we had he had his Nando's chicken, the Nando's in a bag with home um, oven fries, and that's fine. I had salad with mine. It was really tasty, and that really helped me out, because I think I finished work about half ten last night. Tonight, though, we need something a little bit better. But as you can see, I don't have much time, but I want to stick something in the crock pot. So I'm going to do a cheat chicken casserole. But Aid's just walking Poppy Dog. Poppy Dog hates the hoover. So I'm going to quickly whiz the hoover around while she's not here. And I still need to collapse my table from kit packing and tidy all the chairs away. The lounge is clean and tidy before I go and work in the studio. Why are you laughing at that? Not that, that's what you said a minute ago. Oh, um, I'm gonna throw some dinner in the crock pot. This is a cheats dinner tonight, really cheats. Anne-Marie is one of those customers that has become a friend. She is so lovely. And we have a section in our Patreon group on the Discord chat, which I call, what's for dinner? And it's just a fun place to see who's having what for dinner. We take photos, we discuss ideas. It's really fun. I love talking about that kind of thing. And she shared this like chicken, it, I think it was a ch like chicken casserole stew dumpling thing. And she described it, and I, I've always looked at the American, like, creamy stews, the white stews or white gravies as, ugh. But she described it as the inside of a chicken pot pie without the pastry. And that's completely changed how I thought. I guess because I'd never tried anything, I just expected it to be too creamy, and I'm not a fan of creamy sauce. And since she shared that photo and described it, that's all I can think about. And now you're wanting that for dinner as well, aren't you? Yes. So I, I haven't got a so recipe. My other choice. My, what was my other choice? Mexican. Oh, Mexican chicken. I fancied that. You're not a fan, though, are you? No, I don't mind it. You just don't like the chili beans. Right, so I need something quick and easy. So we're going to cheat with chicken soup. It's a Morrison's. It's 35p a tin. And the calories are actually pretty good on this. Um, half a can is 133 calories. So that's 260 calories for one of those, which isn't too bad. But I've got some chicken skinless boneless thighs. I've got mushrooms. I've got a leek. And I've got green beans. And I'm going to grab a carrot. And I'm just going to throw it all in and let that cook in a crock pot. How does that sound? I think that sounds yummy. It's my version of Anne Marie's chickeny pot pie without the pastry thing. Um, and I'm, we're both really looking forward to that tonight and it can just throw, be thrown in, cook away all day, I'm ready for dinner and I think we might have it with rice later. Mm. But we're really excited about that, aren't we? Looking forward to that. Aid hurt me with the tea towel. No, with the table oh. Hang on a minute, her, that's the wrong thing. You threw across the room, didn't you? I didn't mean to. I, you know when you go to do the tablecloth and forget across the table, I let go of it, it shot across. So Aid went and threw it, it caught me in the oh, eye. Just, it really hurt. Right, let's make some dinner. So that's my cheats chicken. I'm gonna add the beans later because they'll cook really fast and I'll add peas later as well. I was just clearing out under my desk, trying to find space for my mail sacks and I found a box of stock for this kit that I've completely forgotten about. I bought ages ago and it goes so well. I'd already gone over budget this coming month in December anyway for the kit and then I thought it's fine, it's December, extra gifts and now I've gone way, way over budget. So December's box is a very, very, oh I've got a cat out there, a very, very full packed box with some very, very nice things coming up. It's a party in a box in December. That's what it is. So I've just dished up and I've added some broccoli to it and rice. 
and it looks very very nice proper comfort food hi there it is the end of the week and after a crazy busy week we are taking a slower day today very very needed it has just been a bit manic last night's dinner was really really good I would highly recommend that if you want a quick cheats dinner I did add some chicken gravy granules to it just to thicken it up and plenty of seasoning it was really really yummy and definitely add the more delicate veg like green beans and peas and things towards the end because they don't need as long to cook and you end up they go a bit mushy so I wouldn't add broccoli I cooked that separate in with the rice actually at the end but it was really really good and there's a little bit left for lunch today so that's really cool but I hope you've enjoyed this video this week it has been a little bit manic well, it certainly felt manic here, but I feel all caught up again. I had a really good day yesterday and we're going to have a nice weekend. So I'm really pleased about that. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new. And the Christmas videos are going to be starting as well. So make sure you've hit that little bell thing so you get notified when the videos go up. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.